Hey, good day guys. So today we're going to be doing a review of our stay here at Hamaka 117 in Okinawa, Japan. So, I guess we'll just start with where this place is. So this location is up toward the uh, aquarium mm -hmm. in the upper part of the island. Uh, it's going to take you maybe five or ten minutes to drive there. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, you can walk to Emerald Beach, which is part of the same um, park complex as mm -hmm. the aquarium in about 20 minutes. So you have those options. Um, when you're coming in, it can be a little hard to find because it's kind of off in the off the uh, main street. So mm -hmm. you're going to notice that you're going to come through a lot of like little subdivisions. The streets are really narrow, but they do have signs. Mm -hmm. So there are places here directing you to where this um, guest house is. Mm -hmm. When you arrive, there is a small parking lot. Uh, it's unpaved, it's just a grass section that's cleared out on the right hand side, just past where the guest house is. Um, when you get in, the, if, if nobody's there, what he's gonna do is he's gonna email you a passcode. And um, when you arrive on the left hand side, on the, so when you first arrive at the front door, there's information regarding, there's a buzzer there. Um, there's also the information for the Wi-Fi. Just to the left of the door, you're going to see a lockbox. Uh, that's where you enter your code. You can pick up your key and you can come and you go. Uh, the door was unlocked when we got there. There was uh, one other guest, one other couple that was there at the time. So they let us in. They showed us around a little bit. Uh, as you'll see, the, it's, it's very well you know, uh, equipped. There's a nice kitchen. There's a bathroom. Uh, there's only three rooms, so it's a, it's a small... Mm -hmm. Uh, hostel, which is nice, so you're gonna have lots of space to yourself. How did you sleep? I think I slept pretty good. Uh, there is a like Japanese futon style, but luckily our room is like a uh, bed. Like That's right. Two stairs bed. Yeah. So depending on what room you get is what kind of style bed you get. So as I showed you, one of the the rooms had just the, there was no furniture in it. That's where you're gonna get your traditional Japanese futon. Mm -hmm. Our room had bunk beds. Uh, there was enough room on the bottom bunk for both of us, so we never bothered using the top bunk. So I think that room is actually meant for three people. I think two people can sleep on the bottom, and there's mm -hmm. supposed to be one person on the, the top. I think it's a triple room. Okay. Um, but one room, I think I saw they don't have key, room key. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we, we had a door. That's why we could lock Yeah, that's right. Door. Each individual door to your room. Uh, we were able to lock ours. Mm -hmm. um, mattress, it's weird. I I slept well, although you could feel each individual spring in the mattress. Like, you, you wouldn't think that it's comfortable, but I did sleep quite well. Mm -hmm. And she slept quite well. Yep. Um, bathrooms were fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the shower room's a little dated, but that's all right. Hot water worked. There was lots of space. It was a big bathroom. Mm -hmm. Um, kitchen was well equipped. We cooked there several times. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a gas stove, so you're going to get lots of heat. Um, and they have a laundry machine. Yep, there's a laundry machine. There's baskets inside the fridge for you to store your stuff. Mm -hmm. If you, if it's too big to fit in a basket, there are markers for you to label your goods. Um, on our second day here, mm -hmm. we were the only ones here, so we kind of had free run to the place, so that was kind of nice. So for two nights we paid 7,200 Japanese yen, which is about $72 for the two of us to stay there. So we had a really good deal. Uh, we did find a deal on booking.com that gave us uh, quite a big discount. So make sure you're checking around between, I, don't, I can't remember if it was on Hostel World as well, but double, uh, you know, check a few sites before you start booking places. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot in this part of Okinawa even though this is like a, a resort style, so maybe you're looking at something a little more pricey typically up in this area. Um, if you're gonna be walking, it's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be a 20 minute walk, it's gonna be a little bit of a walk. Um, so definitely a car is recommended, yeah. and that's, that's, the, that's true for the whole island. You know, I definitely recommend if you have the options getting a car, uh, which we did, we rented a car, we had a really good, good, good deal on it actually, thanks to Akane, so. Yeah. Yeah, so that worked out really well for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so now we are off to our next place. We're going to be visiting some more of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen the video of the main castle grounds already, I'm going to put a link up top for that, so I encourage you to check that out. 
Um, if you are new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. I hope you subscribe. If you like the video, just let me know. Hit the thumbs up. And I hope to see each and every one of you in the next video.